Okay, hello everybody and welcome to episode 2000 of the Shonky Laura Model Show. Okay, so uh, I, I've just got a few more seams to cut. Um, if you have a look at the UV editor, we can see that uh, I've still got these two. If I go to uh, Shell and select that, we can see that I didn't do the foot and I didn't do the hand last time. Okay, so they're still in their blobby shape. So I'm just going to do those. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a seam around the top of these boots because um, that's going to make it easier for us to texture. So I will do the usual thing of if I close this. Uh, and then basically what I'll do is I'll just go to edge just to make sure we all remember double click uh, and then I'll go to cut um, and if you have a look at uh, UV editor so let's have a look Okay, so now we've got the, the boot um, is selected at the bottom so we can more clearly see uh, where the actual boot shape is. Okay, so I'm just going to do the rest of the, the hand and the other foot and then I shall get back to you. Okay, so I've just uh, I've just put the final seam in on the boot. I've done the other foot and the other hand. So if we cut that and then uh, we need to remember finally to go to UV select everything unwrap it and if we go to uv editor now we can see that we've pretty much got everything uh unwrapped in a relatively sensible and easy to understand way not that easy to understand but so we've got the boots they're fine this bottom of the boots uh, bottom of the boots yeah so this is all good um so now what i need to do i'm just going to go and translate this into a reasonable layout and then we can start thinking about taking this over into photoshop where we shall slap some stolen textures on it okay guys so one last thing before i start reorganizing this page is if you turn on your um uh, this icon here which helps you to identify uh, UV distortion or display UV distortion is the actual name of the icon so <coughs> if um, actually let me just move that down there so you can see the keys I'm using um, so basically if you've got if you've got raid areas then this shows that you have a stretching of your UVs so uh, there is a way we can kind of adjust this and blue means that you've got compressed UVs which means it's going to distort your textures ever so slightly so if you're doing a really good job of making your model and making sure you texture it properly you'll try to make sure all of these areas are white obviously I'm not doing that but um, particularly around the face and the ears I probably need to just have a little bit of a look so if we if I go in here and just um, I'm on UV mode and select the well let's just select um, marquee select the areas on the face so there's a thing up here called tool um, and it's the smooth UV tool so you'll notice when I turn this on that we've got a thing you can't really see that clearly but uh, if we go a bit closer it's got unfold and relax okay so if you if you if you click on relax I can then squeeze that which obviously that's making it worse so let's just undo that so if I go to unfold I can then kind of just ease this out a bit so I mean I want to ease this out but I also want to um, make sure I can still recognize the features so I can see this is the eyes and this is the mouth so that's okay I mean realistically I kind of want to get that chin I mean you know it's gonna take a bit of fiddling I might just do both of these at once because I'm crazy so I'm gonna to have to unfold these um, that's not helping enormously but it's a little bit better so I have some concerns about how I'm gonna actually um, texture this because it's become quite a weird shape now but I mean that's still recognizable as the mouth the eyes and the ears to some degree there's also a little bit of an issue over here so I assume this is kind of the chest area so let's just have a little bit of a look 
so do we want to relax it we don't want to relax it do we want to unfold it we do not much is happening so I don't know whether I need to get all of this um, it's not really helping so I'd need to go in and have a, a good old look at how to um, get rid of the stretching on this area so I'll have a bit of a fiddle with that but I mean this is the tool I want to show you obviously I'm just doing this quick and messy but once I've had a fiddle there's a bit of distortion going on here once I've had a fiddle uh, have I cut these hands out properly I don't think I have so we've got the top and the bottom of the hand I haven't put a seam across the middle okay I'm going to reorganise this page um, and I shall be back with the texturing excitement. Okay, so um, I'd missed a little, uh, I'd missed an edge on this hand which meant that it wasn't cutting the two sides off. Most people, I uh, think the common practice is to uh, not, is to keep the hand in one lump so that you get both uh, the top and the bottom connected but um, I've just cut them separately because uh, I'm not a trained UV unwrapping expert as you might have guessed um, and it's a bit easier for me to see the shapes of the hands in this format so I just I just want to quickly say that so I've got everything I need on here so within if you right click in the editor I can go to shell so a quick way of kind of checking um, which bits you've got selected so I can see here that I've got the leg just by checking uh, against my model so if I go to my normal uh, command uh, my normal um, keyboard shortcuts I should say I can basically uh, just rotate and align so I'm going to want to rotate and align these so it's really just the case I'm going to get the page organized in a way that um, so I just press W to move it so um, I'm just going to get the page organized in a way that I am happy with so I know where everything is okay um, there will be tools up here for snapping these angle snapping uh, which I have not yet discovered so so yeah you'll be able to snap these more precisely um, but for the purposes of this exercise I'm just going to get everything in a decent place okay I shall be back in a moment one other thing we need to consider is that um, this 01 texture area uh, the grey part here is where your text page is going to sit so all of your UV unwraps are going to basically take textures from uh, a square texture page which will correspond to this grey area um, so the other thing while I'm saying that is that while I was just arranging these you've got to start thinking about the scale of each of your UV shell areas because for instance these are the legs um, and I'm quite happy for the legs to be of a decent size but I don't want my leg text is taking up my entire page so if we just grab all of those and scale them down in fact what I'm going to do is I am going to grab the feet as well um, well I'm going to actually get the other feet uh, and add them down here but you saw I mean you know that's that's a decent enough size for my legs I don't need massive leg textures um, the torso obviously is an important area that's about the right size so you want to make sure that I'm going to need to increase this head size that's obviously is going to be an important um, aspect of the model so just have a look at fitting everything onto this grey space but also you can don't get too scared about scaling things if you feel that they don't need massive textures okay okay so while I'm still rambling away about organizing the texture page something else that um, I think is frowned upon but um, it, well I suppose it depends on uh, how much detail you want to put into your model um, but if I flip this I've got the UV shell selected just flip that so I can overlap these UV shells as well um, so I can rotate this into position uh, and so that means that I only really have to make one texture and it'll just be flipped and it'll be the same on both legs which means you're saving space again uh, so but I'm not going to do that in this case because I'm going to actually give you uh, a sample texture page and so you know you might want to put for instance a particular pattern down one, one leg that uh, is different on the other leg so I'm going to leave this as it is because uh, I'm going to make you a sample texture page so but just to bear in mind like I say you can overlap these things um, and they'll use the same texture it's not nothing to get too stressed about again okay 
Okay, so uh, I've kind of laid it out in a, a relatively sensible uh, layout. So arms, head, chest. So I should point out this is like the worst laid out UV text page in the universe, but I've done this in a way so that we can see uh, it kind of makes sense. Top of the leg, boot, bottom of the leg. Okay, so uh, but another way you can do it is that if you want to be slightly cleverer and you don't mind where things go on your page you can go to layout um, and this will automatically lay out your UVs for you so you know this this has vastly improved the um, the actual space on our page but the point is that um, it's now kind of confused the layout so it's up to you how you want to do it all sorts of courses uh, I'm just doing it this way so that we can see clearly which parts go where on the model you know makes a bit of sense I think and so the final step is that I'm going to just uh, do a UV snapshot. So, um, so if you want like a 4K texture, is it 4096? I believe it is 4096. Um, and let me just check all of this. Okay, and then we just hit OK and we'll save it out. Uh, okay. Okay, so I'm just going to call this out UV1. Okay, and then uh, what I'll do next is I'll save this as a PNG and I will. Okay, must select the file. Right, so it's not letting me output that. So do I need to select everything? I don't know. Let's have a go. Okay, so that seems to have done it. I've just selected all the. Uh, I've just selected all of the. Uh, actual shells or the polygons okay so I'm gonna just go and check that's output and if it has then I'll load it into Photoshop okay so I brought the um, I've changed the color of the UV outlines to black and I brought it into uh, into Photoshop so let's just make a new layer I don't know why it's, it's just so stupid um, but what I'm gonna do is go back to the layer zero I've put, added a new layer go back to layer zero cut these hardly defined um, UV shell images go back to layer 1 paste that in it's going to paste it well actually it has pasted it at layer 1 go to layer 0 um, and then I'm just going to go to the fill fill it with white so now we can see the the um, we can see the UV outlines I mean I don't know why they're grey uh, so I'm just going image adjustments uh, brightness contrast it's not really helping taking the brightness down I mean you think there would be an easy way of doing, I'm sure there is an easy way anyway so we can now see pretty much um, the UV layouts so we want to make sure that we keep we we keep this at the top the the layer one obviously um, and then we can start pasting in textures underneath so I'm going to start doing that um, I'm going to make this relatively flat colour because uh, like old school Lara and also because it means less work for me. Okay. Okay, so I've just basically got a old style Lara head of the intraweb. Um, so I've just had a bit of a fiddle. But the, the basic idea here is I'm just going to cut this, uh, cut this out. If we go over to the unwrap layer then I'm on layer zero so I can paste that in um, and so I can what I can do is I can start shaping this um, to fit it's so obviously what the ear is well off because we're going to need to distort this because the head shape will start to get distorted um, and the hairline I think will need to be brought down but I can keep checking this against I can bring this texture back in um, place it behind my UVs and check it in the editor window to see that it doesn't look too crazy so it's a kind of going to be a long and laborious process uh, but I shall see how it goes okay <clears throat> okay so I'm just going to quickly apply so I can start checking the uh, texture maps on the model so the way to do this is to um, so that I've kind of got Lara's head uh, stuck behind my UV overlay so I'm just going to try this out uh, 
this is rough I mean you need to keep tweaking this but basically what we need to do is assign a new material so let's do a Lambert um, I'm gonna to go to my color and change that to a file um, don't know why it's taking me to this but let's go to the file and let's select uh, the Lara page one okay so I've got number six turned on uh, <clears throat> so it's displaying textures and we can see and if I go to object mode so I mean, it's not it's certainly not um, perfect but you know this is a bit squeezed up uh, um, the, the UVs are stretching out over here where the nostrils are our ears look a little bit like a cat's arse um, but you know from what uh, f for the quality of the actual um, map that I am trying to create in a very short space of time it's okay so what I'll do is I'll just continue doing this uh, and then I'll just get everything into place and we should have a very basic Lara model okay